Hector is training for a race. During week one, he will run eight miles. He plans to run 27 miles in week 12. Which equation shows how to find X, how many more miles Hector will run in week 12 than in week one? Now, the big key phrase here is how many more? This indicates that there's a difference between them, and difference is, of course, a subtraction word. That doesn't necessarily mean that there's going to be a subtraction answer. It just means in order to find it, I need to get there. So he wants to run 8 miles, 27 miles in week 2. What's the difference between those two things? Nineteen. That's the difference between those two things. So what I want to find out is how can I use that information to show that it equals 27. The issue here, outside of the fact that it's a difference-related question, is that the uh, equations are set up so they equal the final amount. So they give you this number, and you use that and subtract from 8. So I, in order to go it the other way, I have to use opposite operations. So I need to show 19 plus 8 equals 20. Seven, that's my ultimate goal, right? So I need to figure out which one gives me that answer. Well, if x's value is 19, this looks almost exactly the same. x plus 8 equals 27. So if I want to know how many more miles that Hector will get there, that it will take Hector uh, to run in week 12, I need to do whatever x is, which is 19, more miles than 8 is equal to 27. So that's my answer. My answer to number 27 is A. Again, originally it showed that I had to do some subtraction in order to find the difference. That was just the way that the problem was set up. But by actually finding the answer, I was able to substitute in logically like how it's organized. It was easy for me to tell, oh, well, I mean, these aren't organized in a way I could show subtraction, so this X minus 8 thing won't help me because that would tell me um, what number minus 8 equals 27, that doesn't make any sense. So even though these are addition-style questions, except for D, which is this whole other thing, um, I needed to show the original subtraction in order to develop the addition. It didn't take me long to set that up, so I'm not super worried about it. Take the time to write down what the equation says, translate it into math, which is what this is, and then see how it applies when you look at the answer choices, and you'll more likely get it correct than just sort of in your head getting it. Writing it down made a huge difference for me. It can make a big difference for you.